Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your weekly update in ophthalmology and eye care. This week we have a very special episode since Dr. Carrie Pate is able to join us and he's a retina specialist here in Raleigh and he's going to give us some information about diabetes and how it can affect the eye. So first, welcome Dr. Pate. Thanks, Thanks for much being for here. Um, we know that our country is becoming more and more obese and overweight and many people have diabetes. Uh, how frequently do we see diabetes? It's actually pretty common. It's actually the number one cause of blindness in young people today. So it's increasing in prevalence and we see it a lot more and more in our office as well as far as trying to treat it. Okay. And once someone finds out that they have diabetes, uh, what should they be doing to help take care of their eyes? The most important thing is really getting the diabetes under control. Um, that includes watching the A1C level and trying to keep it at a good level, managing blood pressure, cholesterol, and especially diet and trying to get some exercise. Those things are all vitally important mm -hmm. to keep the blood sugars under control and really minimize the problems you have from head to toe from diabetes, but specifically in the eye as well. Okay. And I know that the primary medical doctors are often very interested in checking this A1C level or the hemoglobin A1C. Uh, what should patients uh, be looking for for their goal with that? You really want it to be below seven. And the key is that it's trending in the right direction. So if it starts out at nine, you want it to be moving down towards seven. But a goal somewhere between six and seven is usually our ideal. Okay, that's good. And that, I tell my patients that's the most important number for them to know if they have diabetes because it tells how their sugars have been doing on average over the last three months. So what types of problems can be in the eyes from diabetes? It causes two major problems. The first one is swelling in the eye. And the blood vessels from diabetes can get a little bit leaky and it can cause what we call macular edema, which is swelling right in the center of the retina. And that causes vision to be blurry, especially when driving and reading. And the other problem that it can cause is circulation issues in the back of the eye where blood vessels grow. And these are, tend to be very fragile and bleed, and that can cause major issues and cause people to lose vision from diabetes as well. Yeah, I know it can be uh, very devastating sometimes when we see patients that are diabetes is uncontrolled, the eyes can get worse and worse sometimes and be very difficult to get the vision to improve. Uh, also, I've seen many patients that get cataracts at a younger age than usual because of diabetes. Definitely so. Other than controlling the sugars the best they can, uh, what other treatments uh, can you offer? We have multiple treatments to manage it and diabetes has been managed for a long time with laser and that's really the number one thing that we use to prevent people from losing their vision from diabetes. That's been used for 25 years and it's very easy to keep people from losing their vision if they come in before um, everything goes down. Mm -hmm. But laser, we also have medicines that we can inject into the eye, steroids and other type of treatments to help with the swelling. But all of the complications that arise in the eye from diabetes can be managed with those different treatments. And so we like to treat them as soon as possible. Okay. And I know that you have a lot of great treatments available. Uh, for treating diabetes, but still one of the basic things you probably agree, just the patient really needs to do their part and although it's very tough to get the sugar under best control they can. It's, it's very hard. It's a two-way thing. We, we manage the eyes the best we can and get the laser and treatments that they need, but also controlling those blood sugars. And those two things, if they go along together, do a very good job of keeping people from losing vision from diabetes. Okay. Well, great. Well, thanks again uh, to Dr. Pei for joining us. And if you have any questions, please post and we have, we'll be happy to interact with you and hope to see you again soon on A State of Sight.